Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to capture your first page in Hunchly, how to use the dashboard to view those pages, and it'll be very short and sweet so that you can move on using some other features. So as we can see here, Hunchly is turned on and enabled. We can tell this because when it's disabled, you will see a little red line through him and he'll be grayed out. So this just means that the capturing system is not turned on and when you're ready to go, you can turn it on and you'll be ready. So let's start with our very first URL we're gonna capture. We're gonna to go to Google. Perfect, and already in the background, Hunchly has captured this page and pulled together a bunch of metadata about this page that we can view in the dashboard. So you can either open the dashboard using your shortcut on the desktop, using the Windows Explorer, or you can crack it open just by clicking the dashboard button in the Hunchly extension, and that will also fire it up. Cool, so we see we have one page is viewed, I'm going to just close our little help messages here and we can see that we successfully captured google.com. You don't have to refresh the dashboard or anything like that. As you're capturing pages, it will continually flow into your dashboard all on its own. It updates in real time. No issue there. So we can actually do a quick search for Justin's sites. Cool. That's not me, but that's all right. So we're going to block the location. Let's just go back to the dashboard, we can see two pages viewed. We can see that we've got the result here. Even our searches has started to populate because we did a Google search. And that is exactly how you capture your first page in Hunchly. You can just browse around and it will pull all that data in and automatically put it in the dashboard for you. If you have two monitors, what's great is pulling the dashboard off into one monitor while you do your browsing in the other and you can constantly see how Hunchly is capturing that data. In the next video, we're going to talk about how we can use selectors to assist in our investigations.